Helen E here with Eyes on the Game here at the Red Rock being joined by MMA legend Mr. Uri Faber. Now, before I get to talking to you about your upcoming fight, I feel like I've seen you everywhere. You were in DC last week and then a few days later already made it here for your fight. You're just a great coach and fighter, huh? Uh, well, thank you. I you know, I had a commitment to to Song before I had decided to come out of retirement. He's only 20, just turned 22. And, um, you know, I wanted to be there for him and it was just perfect timing. The last time he fought, I fought the week later, I was cornering him then as well. And then, uh, it was a great result for both of us. So, uh, I think, you know, the timing was right and, uh, the responsibility was there. So I took it. Well, will he be here for your fight supporting you? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'll see Song in Korea. Uh, he's in Miami now. and He's going to take a little vacation. He, he's a big kid. It was pretty shocking, you know, to see how big he gets as, as, a, as a 135 pounder. And then his opponent, Cody, who I know well, he's trained with us as well. He got really big too. So these, these guys are getting bigger. I'm going to try to keep him, you know, on the straight and narrow while he's off in, in I think, Miami, then China, and then probably Korea. On a pretty strict diet still, right, year-round? Well, not strict diet, but, you know, try not to let it get overboard. Especially around the holidays. Yeah, absolutely. And I also did see on your Instagram, your daughter, you just posted, she said, Uriah, she, you guys are kind of on the first same basis already. Yeah, She's yeah. only eight and a half months. Yeah, we've moved up the, uh, the ranks. It's funny, uh, Jaslyn, who, you know, was trying to get my attention in a loud place, was yelling my name. And so Ka Callie started joining in, trying to help her, just screaming. And all of a sudden, she realized that her mom yelling my name was the best thing to get my attention. I came over and was like, what do you need, et cetera. And so now it's Uriah, not Dada. And yeah, she's just about to turn nine months. And oh man, what a joy she is. She's so much fun. Will they be here for your fight? Yeah, they'll be here. Callie won't be in the arena, but she'll be here in Vegas. Uh, we'll try to keep her off the strip. How has fatherhood changed you? You know, I always feel like uh, or felt like I wanted to be a father. I just was always nose to the grindstone and, and focused on my goals and doing things. So um, I feel like it's a real natural thing for me. It's something that I've wanted for a long time. And uh, I've got a beautiful baby and, and, uh, and you know, it's a new type of inspiration and, and motivation, although I don't ever need, like, something – to push me to be disciplined, I have the discipline, but it's a different kind of uh, excitement and responsibility for sure. Well, speaking of always being focused, you made your pro MMA debut in November 2003. What do you think about the evolution of MMA? It's wild, you know, I think uh, there's few and far between the, the folks that believed in the, in the, you know, progression of the sport and what could happen in the sport. And we're here, we're here now and it's going to get better and better. And, um, there's a lot of people to thank for that. Of course, the fighters that were, you know, duking it out for next to nothing when, when no one was watching. And then, uh, the business folks that understood how to, how to grow this thing and, and the fans around the world. So, um, it's going to get better and better. And I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to be here 16 years later, still at the top of the mix. Yes, absolutely. And if you could give yourself back in 2003 a piece of advice, what would you give yourself? Um, just know your value and, and uh, continue, the, continue the positive attitude. I think uh, I don't really have many regrets. So, uh, you know, specific times you could go back and change this or that. But for the most part, I've enjoyed the, the journey and it's been perfect. Well, speaking of the journey, I mean, it continues this Saturday against Peter Yan. What are some of your expectations in the fight? I expect it to be a tough fight. Peter's, uh, he'll probably be, I think they said I'm a, a big underdog, which is which is cool with me. I don't really care. I don't care about rankings or underdogs or this or that. Uh, I know he's going to be a tough opponent. He's got great stand-up. He's very well-rounded, but um, I think I'm the better fighter, and, and I plan on proving it. Well, you fought so many great fighters, and like I mentioned, you are a legend. Is there someone who you still hope to fight? You know, I take this one fight at a time. My goal is always to get that belt. You know, that's why I do this sport. This is the this is the reason why I'm, you know, you know, training is not easy, especially when you've had three years off to get back into the mode and get your body prepped and your mind prepped. It's a difficult thing, and so it's always uh, looking for that, you know, utmost respect and utmost uh, 
you know, dominance in the sport. And that means having the UFC belt. Now, a few months ago, I spoke to TJ Dillashaw. He told me he would still be interested in fighting you. Would you be interested in being his first fight back into the UFC? Possibly. I'll be 42 at the time. I think he has a two-year suspension. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know. Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to have some requests of him before, before that happens, but I would do it absolutely. What requests? Uh, maybe a full explanation of what really has gone down. I mean, I know details, but I, I'm not going to ever say any of them, but I like to see him like just fess up like, you know, our boy Lance Armstrong has done in the past and get it all out instead of fluffing around what's going on. And, and then I'll say, you know what, get it all out on there and, and let's scrap. I know in the Ultimate Fighter, you coached against Conor McGregor. He is making his return in January against Cowboy. How do you see that fight playing out? Man, you know, I, I got to lean towards Connor. I, I think Cowboy is always in every fight, but uh, we've seen him kind of, uh, you know, when it, when it really comes down to the mental warfare and, and a, a tit-for-tat battle, sometimes he's, he shows a little bit of weakness, and then he also sometimes doesn't fight the smartest. So uh, I think Cowboy absolutely has the, the tools to, to get it done, but I think Connor is going to be renewed and hungry, and um, it's a matchup for him to get, back in the mix against a really well-known top top-notch fighter so I, I give the edge to him and all your fans are looking forward to your fight this weekend against Peter Yan thank you so much for your time my pleasure thanks guys